Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. Vertex creasing was introduced in Blender 3.1 and I for one was very happy about that because it was one of the features that I was missing from Cinema 4D. And when it was released, there was a few tutorials and images going around that didn't really demonstrate why vertex creasing is useful. And people have since asked me why I use vertex creasing. So I've just been working on the motorbike and I found a quite a good simple opportunity to demonstrate to you why you might use vertex creasing. So this object here is called a rubber boot and it secures the intake manifold into the cylinder. And what I did was select this loop and I just pressed P and I separated a loop from that. And that's what I'm using as the strap or fastener that clamps the rubber boot onto the cylinder. But under subdivision, you can see how the ends here are rounded. And I actually need to increase the subdivision because you can see I still need to model in these long holes or steps. So if I come in and I do apply that subdivision surface, you can, it increases the subdivision fine, but see how this tag here is rounded? That's not what we want. So this is where vertex creasing comes in. I'm just going to undo that and come into vertex mode. I'm going to select that one there and that one. And also the one on the inside. This one and this one. Whoops, wrong one. This one just here. Okay, so now what I can do is just hit N and under item, change my mean vertex crease to one and they turn pink. Okay, so watch what happens now when I apply that subdivision surface. Uh huh. So now I've got the subdivision I want and I've maintained those sharp corners. Now you might be thinking, hang on, you can do that with regular creasing. And yes, you absolutely can. If I just select all of these edges in edge mode, and instead of changing the mean vertex crease, I change the mean crease to one. And now in object mode, apply that. You can see the result is exactly the same. So with this particular example, both mean crease and mean vertex crease give you the same result. I guess the only difference is that you don't have to select all of the edges, you've only got to add the mean crease to a couple of verts. But let's just jump out and take a quick look at an example where mean crease won't work. In this example, I'm just recreating the Indian Scout Bobber motorcycle logo. And if we just focus on the end, you can see I've made the main shape just using a few faces. Now, I want to sharpen this up under subdivision, and this is not going to be enough detail. So I'll do the same thing and select all of the edges and I'll increase the mean crease to one, okay? And now you can see under subdivision, it works on these outer edges, but when we hit these concave edges, it doesn't work. And if I apply this, we haven't got the result we want. This is where we need to use vertex creasing. I'm just gonna select all of this, and I'm just gonna bring mean crease down to zero and then bring mean vertex crease up to one. And now under subdivision, you can see all of those corners are nice and sharp. So there will be situations where the standard crease is going to work, but there's also situations like this where vertex creasing is really important. If I go ahead and apply that now, I could extrude that. Select sharp edges, control B to bevel, and I could just add a couple of little cuts in here just to make quads. Won't do the other side just for now. And just drop that into a subdivision surface modifier. And also want to auto smooth that. And also, importantly, remove the creasing. Otherwise, it's going to get creased again. There we go. And now let's go back to the original example. So with this one, what I would do now is probably, let's see, select these two, dissolve those, select that one, control B, and just slide that out. It's probably a little better, something like that. And I only want a few of these, so I'll just select up to about here and inset 
Now I've got my inset set to individual and you can do that by hitting I. So inset those and just delete those faces like that. So hopefully you found that useful. Have fun with your modeling and I'll see you in another tutorial.